Hi everybody, this is Kefren. Today I'm going to show you how to stream and record with GeFor GeForce Experience. Why uh, using this uh, software from NVIDIA? It's, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, when you use OBS and you stream with your CPU, uh, your CPU is taking a lot of resources just to record or stream the game that you already play. And uh, sometimes it's, cause, it's causing a drop frame. If you don't have an i7, for example, you I don't know, you're playing on i3 or even i5 or an older uh, generation, you will see a lot of slaughter uh, problem with your uh, number of FPS, etc. Uh, on a video card, uh, you have it on AMD and also NVIDIA, you have an encoder that you can use to record or stream uh, your game. So I'll show you how to do it and with which program. So first of all, make sure that you download GeForce Experience and you have the latest version. Click on the small icon over there. We will start with the setup. First of all, we will go to connect. Make sure that you connect your uh, Twitch account, YouTube, Facebook, whatever you want to use uh, to stream or just send your videos. After that, let's go to recording. Recording will just show you where your video is going when you record. Broadcast live. So when you want to broadcast, you can select Facebook, Twitch or YouTube. You have three choices. And after that, you can select the quality of it or just use custom. For me, I'm using uh, 720p, 60 FPS. And I'm using the max bitrate of Twitch that is 6,000, okay? So you can go until 18,000, that's pretty good for a stream and you make sure that you have the connection. Normally you should use 60% of your upload. So for an example, you, you have 10 M, M byte from, uh, for your upload, you should use 6,000 here, okay? And after that, just select your Twitch server. You can also add uh, custom overlays if you want. Uh, to, to improve a little bit the uh, your stream and your branding. After that, audio. Audio, make sure that uh, you're using your uh, default mic. So microphone, me, it's a Blue Yeti. But sometimes here you will see that is your camera microphone and the camera microphone is always sucks. So just make sure that whatever, if you're using a headset, a professional microphone, etc. It should be there for source, and this source will be uh, for everything. It will be uh, for your uh, videos, your Twitch, etc. After that, um, video capture. So this is when you're recording your video. Uh, me, I'm putting it right now at 80,000, 60 m byte in the resolution of my monitor slash game. So right now it's always 1080p. But a cool feature here, you can change it. If, even if you're playing a game in 1080p, you can record in 4K if you want, okay? Here, it's for the quality of your uh, video. If you put it at 130, you will see that your uh, recording file will uh, be uh, huge. Like for example, you will record for, I don't know, one minute and your file will be 1.5 gig. So uh, just make sure that you have uh, the best setting here. Me at 80,000, I feel like my video are pretty, much like slick and very clean and uh, forged 1080p. For sure, if you have a, a, a higher resolution over there, you should increase a little bit your M byte, okay? So that's about it for the settings. After that, you just have to select if you want to record or broadcast. So if you click record, you just have to start here, press start, and you will record your display. Same thing with the broadcast, you press start, you will have a couple of options. You can change your title if you want on Twitch, uh, location, audience, etc. And you just press go live. So with this, you will save a lot of uh, compute on your uh, t uh, computer. Uh, if you have a older generation, you know, uh, Intel generation two, three, or even the laptop, this thing can be really, really helpful for you. And you, will you make sure that you're recording a game uh, streaming a game and you don't have drop fps when you're playing your game so that's about it guys if you have any questions just post me your gpu and i will try to help the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you very much guys peace